Hello friends, it is November 1st. We have a Cut Files design team from Confessions of a Paper Attic layout for you today. We are gonna actually be playing with, hold on, I've made piles of things today. We're playing with this Fancy Pants collection and we got three photos and we're gonna be playing with the quirky flowers from August. So they were an August release um, from Confessions of a Paper Addict. I'm gonna play with those along with this Bloom and Grow from Fancy Pants. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what we're doing today. So I also, it is a Tuesdays in the Attic day. Um, I only have three photos. If you saw the sketch, you can tell that it's way more photos than that or it's supposed to be. Um, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. Nope. Um, so I'm just going to make myself like a little mini collage of where photo and um, where the photos are in the center. And we'll just treat it like the whole collage that is um, on the sketch as well. So it's gonna, it's gonna work out. It'll, it'll be fine. So we're gonna play with this. I'm gonna trim this down. I think we're gonna mat the whole layout on this for sure. Um, and then I might, I haven't decided if I want to do that or do one of these. Ooh, and do a thick mat. That would be actually kind of cool since my photos are a lot smaller and do this. I don't know. I'm was kind of playing with the idea of doing that. So um, I'm going to cut down the photos, get them kind of in a collage. I've got these lovely, I cut these out in craft actually, and they're all these quirky flowers. So we're going to play with those and incorporate them into the photo, um, the photo collage and as embellishments around to kind of enhance. And it's pictures of my son, um, playing garden at our local children's museum. We have a really cool interactive, it's like farm to table kind of play. So they can pick the garden and then there's like a farm stand where then they can sell it. And then there's like a grocery store um, where then people can purchase it um, type things. It's, it's very cute. And he was just having a ball playing. And I thought this bloom and grow would go great because there's a lot of gardening tools and uh, vegetables and seed packets and that kind of thing. This is a scrap room kit. Um, it is also, I want to congratulate Christy. It is her 10 year anniversary hop today, as well as, um, she, I think hit 5,000 subscribers, which is freaking amazing. She's been on YouTube for 10 years. Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Um, that is who we're celebrating today. So make sure you check out everybody who is celebrating her today as well. That will be linked down below as well as Dusty Attic and Confessions of Paper. Tons, tons of things linked today. So you will see all of that. All right, I've come up with a plan. I am putting my collage on this crazy patterned paper. I've got this L Studio label that I'm going to use and it's going to go off. I need to punch. I want one side to be thicker than the other. Okay. We've got how big? We're going to have a big border of red. So I'm changing this sketch up quite a bit. So I apologize if you came here to watch me do a sketch like to a T. Not happening today. <gasps> okay. And then this is gonna be pretty wide here but skinny over here. I really took this, the idea of this sketch and kind of went my own way with it. So like I said, I apologize if you came here for something else. It's now what's happening. And then my plan is to tuck a bunch of said flower hairs out of craft cardstock 
around bloom and grow is gonna be my title that's where I got kind of the craft from like the craft goes really well with that yeah this looks nothing like the sketch anymore so once again I'm sorry um, we could even do bloom and grow down here instead of yeah instead of Okay, yep, I need to get these layers glued down because I'm liking what I'm doing and I don't want to forget about it. And then, yeah, we're going to tuck a bunch of the other stickers, the other seat, the other plant things. We'll tuck the, all the things in. So let me get the main layers down and start gluing and then I'll bring you back when I've done some of the painful things so you don't have to watch. All right, I've tucked all my, um, my craft flowers and leaves in. I had another leaf and I lost it and I don't know where it went. It either got attached to something or, oh, I just found it. I found it. So let's see, where do I want to put this? Up over here because, oh. where do we just set it like that? We're gonna tuck it in here because we've got all sorts of things climbing up that hole. I think I'm just gonna fill this area with leaves. Okay, good. I'm glad I found it. Cause I was like, where did it go? Did one of those things where it floated gently down off my desk and landed between paper. You know how that happens. It's like, what, how, how did that even happen? Okay. I'm going to pop up some of these florals. Just tuck in some of these things, these ephemera bits that represent gardens and Sometimes using the liquid glue is just faster and easier because you've got all the things uh, tucked and if you can just sneak the nozzle under there, and then you know it's gonna stick. And it doesn't need a lot usually when it's paper like that, so. You know, I used those garden tools cut file for something else and this collection would have been great for that too. Trowel and fork. Puffies, there we go. This is just a wood circle. Flower pot. I kind of want to tuck this seed packet in yet somewhere. I don't know where yet, but somewhere. Oh yeah, here. Perfect. Seeds. Okay. All right, and then let's tuck a couple of these hearts, some random places. So I'm gonna place some enamel dots around uh, and then you guys will get to enjoy some close-ups. So please go celebrate with Christy. Tell her congrats on her um, 10 years in YouTube. She's, she's amazing. And then, um, and her hop theme, she said, no theme, just do something you love, which you know what? I just love scrapbooking. I love playing with paper. I love playing with all the stickers, all the things. So that is kind of what I went for. Like I like just playing with all the things. That's what makes me happy. Um, so that's what she wanted. She just wanted to hop to celebrate because this is a pretty, that's a big milestone, like 10 years, that's amazing. So make sure you go check that out. If you wanna grab some of these cut files, which I highly recommend you do, uh, Confessions of a Paper Addict, the website will be linked down below, as well as the Facebook group where you can go show off what you've created, see what others have created, get some inspiration, all of the above. And um, we will more than with open arms um, invite you to share. We love seeing 
what people have created with the cut files especially. So make sure you do that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.